Hi, Rich Powell from ClearPath here. When you think back on American industrialization, steel is probably top of mind. American innovators like Andrew Carnegie helped revolutionize our country with steel mills in Pittsburgh back in the late 1800s. Now, like most products, steel is made all over the world, often using technology that originated in America. But when you look at the emissions from manufacturing around the globe, ours is among the cleanest. That's because we have stronger standards than places like China and because innovation is in our DNA. For example, we currently make two-thirds of American steel through recycling. But we shouldn't be patting ourselves on the back just yet. Globally, steel accounts for about 8% of emissions. Here in the U.S., metals emissions account for 2%. 81% of that is from iron and steel. As the world looks for ways to reduce emissions, leading the way on clean steel innovation could help America become a global market frontrunner. Already, there are several American companies working to decarbonize the steel manufacturing process. Boston Metals developed a process called molten oxide electrolysis, which essentially means they use electricity to convert iron ore into liquid metal at high temperatures instead of coal in their manufacturing process. Midrex has created a process that uses natural gas and hydrogen to produce steel, cutting emissions in half compared to traditional manufacturing routes. Cleveland Cliffs, Alcoa, U.S. Steel, and Nucor, our major metals producers, have all set aggressive decarbonization goals. These companies are leading the way, but there are federal policies that would help accelerate clean steel innovation. For example, policies like the SUPER Act focus more R&D on breakthrough technologies, production methods, and public-private partnerships to scale up and commercialize low emissions technologies. There are important market signals in the tax code that will also accelerate innovation. Expanding Section 45Q would allow steel manufacturers that capture carbon from their operations to claim an incentive to permanently store or repurpose the CO2. Section 48C, the Advanced Manufacturing Tax Credit, would help American companies compete in supply chains by incentivizing manufacturers to expand or build new facilities that make clean energy technologies like carbon capture equipment. When U.S. innovators are able to apply their talents, they'll lead market-driven solutions to commercialize innovative technologies. And that's why we are excited about this next revolution to reduce industrial sector emissions. Thanks for watching.